Hey, and welcome to another edition of our Sports Card Investing Targets video, where we choose a group of players who we believe have some interesting catalysts coming up, which makes their cards worth investing in. Uh, this week, we're focusing on the most popular players in across sports due to sports potentially coming back very soon. And we think that there's a small window of opportunity left where you can get in on these players before their prices absolutely take off. Uh, we're going to be focusing on a variety of brands of cards. We'll, we'll list some of the more popular cards currently, and then we'll give you some alternative brands, lesser known brands, off the radar brands, which you can potentially get even cheaper prices on some of these players. Um, we're going to be using market movers data from sportscardinvestors.com where you can get a 20% discount off your first payment on any subscription if you use the promo code grinders. And as always, don't forget to check out the article that accompanies this video over on rotogrinders.com where we have a bunch of links listed where you can get directly to these cards. So let's give you the cards. So the first player that we're going to focus on at number five is Ja Morant. Uh, ja is kind of a poor man Zion. He was picked second overall in the NBA's 2019 draft behind Zion. And his cards are also the second hottest cards on the NBA market and in the market in general right behind Zion's. The specific cards we're going to be looking at are his Prism Silver cards, uh, different grades of PSA 10 and P uh, BGS 9.5. And then we'll also take a look at his Select Silver Prism Premier Level card. As you can see from this chart provided by SportsCardInvestor.com's Market Movers, Jaws 2019 uh, Prism Silver PSA 10 has been down, actually down recently. It was much higher over in, in February and it's come down and might present a buying opportunity. Jaws still in the hunt in the playoffs. If the NBA season uh, returns and, and they go into playoffs, then Jaws would still be in the hunt, which gives its card some catalyst potential, potential to go up if he does well in the playoffs. So this is definitely a card worth checking out and potentially investing in. The card specifically that I'm most interested in is this Panini Select Premier Level Silver Prism card. Select is a brand that hasn't really caught on as, as much as Prism or some of the more well-known uh, Panini brands, but it's a really nice looking card and it's, uh, it's definitely a high quality and looks just as good as, as the Prism cards. So there's a chance that this card doesn't remain under the radar very long, this, this select brand. So it's a good opportunity to buy some of these hotter names in the, in the industry under this, under this brand of card. So those target prices on JAW, we're gonna target the 2019 Panini Prism Silver PSA 10 with a target of under $1,050. Uh, we're going to get a target of under 550 for the Panini Prism Silver uh, BGS 9.5 and then a target of $180 for that Panini Select John Morant Silver Prism Premier Level card. The next guy on our list at number 4 is Ronald Acuna Jr. He's the reigning National League Rookie of the Year and also the hottest name in MLB sports cards right now. Obviously, if MLB comes back, that's a huge catalyst for him. And honestly, MLB could use the, uh, the the publicity to be the first sport back to the market. It would be a huge boost to them after some uh, some recent negative publicity that they've had. Um, the cards specifically that I'm looking at uh, for this player are the 2018 Topps Update Ronald Acuna Jr. PSA 10 card, which we're targeting at under $190. The 2017 Bowman Chrome Baseball Prospects card, uh, PSA 10, which we want to target under $130. And the 2018 Topps Baseball uh, Base Ronald Acuna Jr. Bat Down card. Uh, PSA 10, which we want to target for under $1,900. As we can see from this chart, Ronald Acuna, his price spiked back in March, but it's come back to earth a little bit and it's remained pretty steady. It's still going up, uh, but obviously it's on an upward trend. And if the season were to return, that obviously gives us a catalyst to increase 
the price on this card and, and make a good return on our investment. And as I mentioned before, you can check out our article over at rotogrinders.com in the sports card section um, to find links directly to where you can buy these cards on eBay. All you have to do is click on them and it'll call up the search instantly for you so you can check out the listings that they have for the specific card and pick out the ones that best fit your price range. The third player that we're targeting this week is Luka Doncic. Uh, it's another NBA player that made the list just because NBA is the hottest sports cards around right now. Used to be baseball back in the day, but NBA's definitely taken over the market. Uh, Luka is one of the hottest young NBA players around. He's also still alive in the playoffs if the playoffs were if the season were to resume and the playoffs were to happen. Uh, the cards that we're tar targeting specifically are the 2018 Luka Doncic Prism Silver PSA 10 for under 1950. The 2018 Luka Doncic Optic Basketball Base Card uh, PSA 10. We're targeting that for under $350. And the 2018 Immaculate Luka Doncic RPA uh, out of 99. And we're targeting that raw for under $7,500. And Immaculate is one of those cards, just like Select, which is a little bit more under the radar. You can see from this chart over on sportscardinvestor.com, the market movers tool, that Luka Doncic's price on this specific card has been dropping recently. Uh, but it's it's starting to starting to recuperate a little bit. It's still a good time to get in before it potentially takes out its previous high, which was back in uh, March of eighty-seven hundred dollars. Right now, it's currently our buy targets at seventy-five hundred dollars. So you still have some room to run there uh, if his card were to recover and and pick back up where it left off. Next on our list is number two, Kyler Murray. Uh, Kyler Murray is our NFL player on this list, and he uh, he's in a good situation leading into this upcoming season. He just got a stud wide receiver. They traded David Johnson for DeAndre Hopkins. I don't know how they pulled that off, but it's a huge score for them. They had a decent draft, so they're in really good position on the offense for Kyler Murray to thrive. They probably have a good chance of making the playoffs this year, too, depending on how well the team gels. But the cards that I like for Kyler Murray in particular are the Contenders 2019 Contenders Football Rookie Ticket Autograph Raw, which we're targeting for under $650. The 2019 Kyler Murray Select Football Silver Field Level Raw, uh, which we're targeting for under $140. And the 2019 Kyler Murray Immaculate RPA Rookie Patch Autograph, for those who don't know, out of 99. We're targeting that raw for under $250, which is a pretty good price to get a Kyler Murray autograph card with a jersey patch on it. So as you can see from the history of this, uh, this Immaculate card, uh, it's it's been increasing. It's taken a little dip recently. The volume of this is very low, though. There's only been a few sales over the last couple months, so it's difficult to pinpoint a precise value on this card. But you can get an idea from looking at the most recent sales that it falls into the about around the $250 range. Um, it went for $260 back on April 5th most recent sale was 205 so anywhere in between 205 and 260 would probably be a good buy on this card you can see the more specific prices below uh, that it's gone for most recently 205 there uh, 263 260 back in uh, early April uh, 218 back at the end of March gives you a good idea of how this card is trending it's it's definitely a nice looking card and Kyler Murray is a hot player and he's definitely going to be set up for success when the season starts up this year number one on our list is Zion Williamson uh, Zion is obviously the hottest player in sports cards right now everybody's trying to scoop up the Zion packs and, and boxes over on 
eBay, even for historically lesser popular brands like Mosaic, whose packs and boxes are selling off the charts right now on eBay. Everybody's trying to get a piece of Zion through breaking boxes and, and opening packs and whatnot. The cards we're looking at specifically is the 2019 Panini Prism Silver, which has been a hot card. It was at $2,000 probably about a month ago. I had an opportunity to buy it at $2,100. I didn't want to go over $2,000. I ended up regretting it ever since, and now it's it's well over 3000 if you can target it under 3000 then that's probably a a good price for it right now although it's still a little bit high for me i wouldn't i wouldn't go that high on it but if you're looking to buy that card then you want to target it for under three thousand dollars we're also looking at the zion williamson optic base hologram bgs 9.5 uh, we're targeting that under a thousand dollars and the Zion Williamson Panini Select Rookie Patch Auto Card. Again, we're going with the Select here, and this is a autographed patch card of Zion, which is under a thousand dollars, which sounds like a pretty good price considering how hot he is on the market right now. If Select ever catches on with the masses and it becomes a popular brand, then a card like this could easily shoot up to who knows what levels but like you can get a autographed jersey patch zion card for under a thousand dollars right now and we're even targeting under 850 dollars just to give you a look at what is more popular cards have done here's the prism basketball 2019 silver psa you can see from this chart that it's just keeps going up right now it's at latest sale was at $3,300. Uh, it peaked over here at $3,500 and earlier in the year, uh, earlier in March actually, it was going for $4,000. So it gives you an idea of the price action on this card. Everybody wants it, but you got to be careful about your price target on a card like this because it's a it's pretty hot card. I'd rather target the Panini Select autograph patch card honestly. That's it for this week's sports card investing targets video. Don't forget to check out the sports card section in rotogrinders.com. We'll be putting up videos and, and articles throughout the week, including Thursday evening. We put up a show called Sports Card Grinders, where we give you investing ideas and, and talk about the industry. And don't forget to check out sportscardinvestor.com, where if you use the promo code grinders, you're going to get 20% off your first payment on any subscription. So make sure to do that to get that market movers data. And check us out next week and please give us a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.